Good morning. I want to speak to you. This is, I want to welcome you to our online Spanish 1411. And I wanted to quickly show you just a little bit about your online book. I have uh, sent you information on this that you can look at under um, handouts and syllabus um, on your uh, Blackboard webpage. But I thought I would just try to show you. I'm using new technology, so please bear with me. The first thing you're going to do, you can see that this is your class. You're going to open your book. Once you open your book, you are going to go to your ebook. And when you go to your ebook, you can click here and you can view your book. The most important thing that I want you to look at for this week, I would like you to look at, give me one moment for this to come up. It's loading and this is your actual book. We are on Capitulo Preliminar. So you're going to click on that. And what I want you to go to is your Vocabulario Esencial. You're going to go to that. And these are the words that you're going to have or be responsible for this, um, for this uh, week. So the first thing I want you to pay attention to, anywhere you see this icon, you can click on that. Then click on Buenos dias. the word and it will say it for ¿Cómo you. Está usted? ¿Cómo está usted? Hola. Hola. So you should go through and and really think about these words. These are all words to get acquainted with someone. These are your interrogative words or your question words. They're extremely important. And I want you to pay attention that all question words have double uh, question marks at the end and they also all have an accent. An accent is very important when you do your online work. If you don't put the accent, then it is going to count it wrong. So know that your workbook stuff, everything that you do on here is very case sensitive. And if it says it's supposed to have a capital, then you need to put a capital. The other thing that I want to show you on this page is you can review your vocabulary and it will give you flashcards for your vocabulary that you can work on. It's really neat. Give me just a second for this to warm up. This, um, website has lots of neat things so here's el calendario you press on the here el calendario press on the little green button el calendario and it'll say it over and over el calendario so you can say it correctly and then you just flip it el lápiz los lápices so this is singular this is plural, el lapis, los lapises. And so this is everything. So go through there and really look at that. That'll be fun for you. Okay. Um, let's see if I can get back to where I need to go. Um, get this off here. All right. So close it out. Now then, so this is what you need to start on. You can also go to each chapter, and before you do exercises, you need to read these uh, chapters, and this just tells you getting and meeting, greeting people. Once again, this is really neat. You can just click on this. Buenos dias, señorita. And then click on, and once again, you click that each time. And then you're supposed to answer it. I guess that's what it is. Buenas tardes. Buenas noches. Hola. So you can just go down. Me llamo. Yo soy. So you need to study this. Soy. And listen to it before you do your exercises. Okay. Um, one other thing I want to show you is let's go to anytime you see this little camcorder that is a tutorial and that will explain exactly what's going on so you need to press that and watch the tutorial so you'll understand the information you cannot just go and do the Number. exercises so she's going to give you so she's your lecture i'm not going to lecture each time she'll be your lecture so you need to go through and pay attention to that so that's how you work this part of it now let's go back and i want you to go to let me see if i can get you to um, see if i can close this 
So that's your online book and that's where you look for all your information on your online book. So that's important for you to do. Alright, let's see if I can close that. All right, now then let's look at the activities that go with this book. So you'll go over to activity assignments calendar. You can view this two ways. You can view by chapter. If you view by chapter, the chapter that we on is that we're on is capitulo preliminar. You want to view assigned activities. Now these are all the activities that are in this chapter, but I have not assigned all of them this time. So you can see that these are your assigned activities that you're going to do. You have one speaking test. You can see that the first thing you're going to do is saludos y despedidas, and we just went over that. This is a little confusing. It's the 3rd of February. 2015 at 11 p.m. But let me just show you one of these exercises because they're really, they're all very short. This one only has three. So if you will look on, look at this part right here, you'll find this exact heading in your book and then you'll have the information that you need to do this exercise, but it's very easy. Please look at the picture. It's daytime. Doesn't that look like a professor? And this is a student. So which one of these do you think you would pick? Buenas tardes, profesora. We know that profesora means a woman. Buenos dias, profesor. Or donde, de donde es usted? Of course, it's going to be buenos dias, profesor. This one says, hola, que tal? So she's saying, hi, how, what's up? How are you? Would he say, I am from Barranquilla? Encantada, which means nice to meet you, or bastante bien. Y usted, como está? He'd say, I'm great, I'm doing fine, and you, how are you? So, he didn't say it's nice to meet you. This one says, adios Javier, so she's saying goodbye to him. So would he say, ciao Claudia, nos vemos? Más o menos, which means okay, or buenas noches. Buenas noches is good night, Claudia. So, of course, he would say, if she said, goodbye, Javier, he would say, goodbye, Claudia, we'll, let's uh, see you later. So, that's it. You submit your answer, and it will tell you if you got it correct or not. Remember that you have two tries on each one of your exercises, okay? So, you've done number one. So, you go back. And you can just continue to go through. You only have to do the exercises that are assigned. But go back to your assignment calendar. Once again, if you go back to your assignment calendar and you can see here. And you can see that we have done this exercise. And it shows you what you made and it shows you when you did it. So you're going to do, and all of the exercises are very short, just like that one. Now then, I want to show you that that's very important. This counts 35% of your grade. So if you will do it like that, do the reading first. I will also give you a video called Tontito Frito. And that video, once again, will serve as a lecture, and he's going to talk about hellos and goodbyes. He's going to talk about that, and you're going to hear that. So it's very important that you do the reading first, listen to your tutorial, listen to the video that I give you before you do the exercises. Let's do one more exercise before I leave you today, just so you can see. Now, it says that you need to pay attention. You need to always read what the um, what the prompt is. It says, at a party, you overhear a conversation between two students, Tomas from Puerto Rico and Carlos from the Dominican Republic. Based on the response, write out what is said. Oh, now I want to show you this because right here are your accent marks. Okay? He said, me llamo Carlos. Me llamo Carlos. And so it's got question marks around it. So we know that he's going to ask him. And look at it. He says, nice to meet you. Me llamo Tomas. So he's probably going to ask him what? Como se llama? You think that's what he might ask him. So watch. I'm going to say C. I need an O because there's an accent there. 
como se llama. All right? So you've got to go up here to get your accents. All right? He said, Thomas, there's question marks again. So he could ask him, como esta? Right? But I didn't put my accent in there, so I have to. Como esta? Esta also has an accent. Be careful. Como esta? Ooh, e -S. <laughs> I meant to spell it E-S-D-A. Como esta? Okay. He says he's good. Carlos is going to say, ¿Y cómo está usted? If you will look on this, this part in your book, all the information that you need to know is right there, and you can copy down what it says. Okay? So that's what I want you to do. Make sure that you look up here, and it'll say review it, and you can go to your ebook right here. If you don't know where it is, it shows you right there that it's on that page. And watch what this does. Here are your answers right here. So you can just pull this up or move it over and keep your book open while you work on it. So you've got everything you need to know right here. You can use these words to fill in those blanks. So with that in mind, remember, review it. It opens it to your book right where you need to go. Okay? I hope that that helps you some. I wanted to show you one other way that you could go to your assignment calendar. You can also save you by date, but the problem is, unless if you have January pulled up, you will see um, that it doesn't give you any activities. So you have to have it on the date that it's due, the week that it's due for it to give you the activities. So just be careful with that. I think it's best to do view by chapter, Make sure you're on the right chapter, and then you'll get it. I hope that helps you. Um, I hope you don't have any other questions about that. I will quickly, let me see if I can do this without causing a lot of trouble. Once again, this is, um, remember that you're going to go to your e-courses, your Blackboard. You're going to sign in. That's very important. This is your class. Mine looks a little different than yours because I have more than one class. Here's your class. Remember, you're going to go to start here, and that's what all the information that you need. You are always going to go to weekly work, and there's weekly work. Mine looks, once again, a little different than yours because this is your first week. You're going to click on that. And when you do, you're going to see your to-do list, what you're supposed to do. Those of you who are having problems, you need to make sure that your syllabus agreement goes in, is submitted here. You submit it. If you will copy, you can and paste it right here. If it won't do that, I'm not sure why it wouldn't, you can also attach a file. And you just go to attach a file. You go to attach a file. Let's just see. I have a file. I'll just attach this one. Do you see that it attached? And then I just push Submit. And when I push Submit, then that's what's going to go in there. Okay? It's just that simple. I wanted you this time, though, remember that you can also have two uh, opportunities on this. I wanted you to see that you can, let me see if I can copy something for you. something real quickly that I can copy. What you do is you just open it up. I'm going to just copy. I'm just going to copy half of it. I'm going to click, copy. All right. I'm going to go back to my submission window. I'm going to say paste. I have to allow access, and it's going to paste it in there. And then all I have to do is do Submit. Okay. So that's the way you do your Blackboard assignments. Please look. You can also go.